Right, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction. Today, we got History Matters with How Did Portugal Happen? Right, let's get straight into this one, man. The history of Portugal is a long and interesting one. Its influence is widespread, and not only did it affect the rest of the European continent, but its sailors bridged the world's oceans. Uh, Few parts of the world would be the same were it not for Portugal. I've never really, like, learned anything about Portugal's history, I'm not gonna lie. But where did this nation come from? Who founded Portugal? And, well, to put it bluntly, how did Port- Cristiano Ronaldo. Chris CR7. Portugal happen. In order to find this out, we need to travel back to the turn of the 12th century when the Iberian Peninsula looked like here. this. In the south, it was dominated by the Almoravid Emirate, and the majority of the people in Iberia at this time were Muslims who had, over the centuries, converted from Christianity after the Islamic conquest of the 8th century. Whereas in the north, Christianity endured as the religion of the. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know where. Portugal's on the left side. Actually, yeah, I know where Portugal is. There. I know where Portugal is. And these northern states were the kingdoms of Leon, Navarre, and Dan. Portugal is here, right? Like, boom, 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 boom. Or, or, or maybe just like this part. Boom, 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 boom. It's on the left as side. As well as the county of Barcelona. I'm pretty sure. And these states were, to put it mildly, not exactly keen on their southern neighbours. The way they dealt with these issues was via in-depth discussions and, just kidding, crusade time. These crusades brought the devout from other European states to help, and one such man was Henry of Burgundy. In 1095, he went south, got married to the King of Castile's illegitimate daughter, and was given the county of Portugal to rule. Long story short, he died. His wife so the white thing was county of Portugal? Alfonso, war, which Alfonso won, he exiled his mother to a convent, and then ruled as the Count of Portugal after 1128. A short 11 years later, Alfonso decided... What is Portugal at this time, in, like, at this moment? Is it a city? Like, what, what's going on? Because we're looking at a video right now, how did Portugal happen? But Portugal's already happened right being here. Being a count wasn't as cool as being a king, and so renounced his fealty to Leon. There was a war because, obviously, which Alfonso won, and after this, Portugal became an independent kingdom, and Alfonso was crowned Alfonso I. Okay. Also, it was just connected to... Before um, continuing, the name Portugal derives from the settlement of Porto Cali, which eventually became the city of Porto. There's no way that Portugal is this small. So, as you'll have noticed, the fledgling kingdom of Portugal is quite a bit I smaller was like than the one we know today, and this is where outside help came in. There we go. So, the Knights <laughs> Templar had previously helped Alfonso in his war for independence, and they had been generously rewarded for their help. And Alfonso could count on their help in his plans to 1. Preserve his kingdom's independence and 2. Strengthen it by expanding southwards. And by sheer luck, in 1144, the crusader state of Edessa fell to the Seljuks, and so the Pope, doing what medieval popes did best, called for a crusade. Many answered the call and those from these one. lands, rather than go the overland route, opted to sail around Iberia on their way. They stopped off in Portugal, where they met Alfonso, who asked for their help. The crusaders weren't really interested in helping at first until Alfonso sweetened the deal. With cash, specifically any and all of the spoils from helping him take cash. the strategically important city of Lisbon. The Crusaders and the Portuguese laid siege to Lisbon in 1147, and it wasn't too long before the city surrendered due to starvation. For many, that was enough crusading, and whilst a couple of thousand Crusaders continued on their way to the Holy Land, most, notably the English, opted to settle in Portugal. Portugal's southward expansion would continue until its borders reached this in the 13th century, and Lisbon Damn. was made the country's capital. Taking it all! place in history had begun. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hell yeah, really good video, really interesting. Really enjoy History Matters video. They do make amazing videos. So if you guys want to check them out, please do. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe for more content. And I'll see you all in the next video.